Before I let you up out of here, Ken, you clearly, you, 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 true businessman, you're, you're evolved. Let's, let's use that word. You still, you still got the hustle. You, you still are a hustler. You still pimping the game out just in a different way. But how does a ex pimp evolve from a personal standpoint? Do you have a wife? Can you well, love a woman the way a regular square would love his wife? How, how well, does it work for you? The thing, the thing you got to understand, right, is that, you know, a person, you know, uh, pimping ain't who I am. Pimping is what I've done. You know, pimping ain't who I am. Pimping is what I've done. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times when people look at you, they look at you from the perspective of just what you've done, not who you are. And a lot of times people, you know, they get a misconception, you know, that you are just this cold hearted person that you are not capable of loving anyone. You know, of course, nowadays, you know, it's easy for me to love because I'm no longer in that lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm no longer connected to that lifestyle. So therefore, you know what I mean? I'm not dealing with the same type of women that I deal with in the past, you know? So, you know, I'm dealing with women, you know, that, you know, that, that may be a little bit different, you know what I'm saying? And me coming from, you know, a Christian background and my mother being a, a Christian, you know, even though, you know, she was with my daddy for a few years, you know, and, and just dealing with that, she eventually got saved, you know, when I was about 13 years old and we had to go to church, you know, a lot, even though I was in Nigeria every time home, my mama would preach God to us. And so, you know, I got that God like uh spirit as well. You know, so I'm 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 a Christian, a Muslim, I'm a Buddhist, I'm everything. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I believe in God. Whatever your God is, is my God. You know, so yeah, you know, in that respect, you know, uh I've changed and you know uh I I I you know you know I deal with women, you know, a little different. Then I would deal with them back in the past, you know. Um, you know, I'm more, you know, a family man, you know. Uh, my woman and I, you know, we, you know, you know, we raised our children, you know what I'm saying? I had children, we raised our children, our children went to college, you know what I'm saying? Me, you know, and uh, you know, we're friends, you know, we, you know, we don't we don't argue, we don't fight, you know what I'm saying? You know, we don't we're not into all of that. You know, we have disputes often, you know, but it's never to the point where, you know, I'm, I'm abusive or I'm, I'm physically putting my hand on them. You know, and then, like I said, I'm intelligent. So any woman that be with me, and particularly my woman, when she's with me, you know, she's getting the intelligence. You know, she's getting wisdom from me. You know what I'm saying? She's not getting the old Kenny. You know, she's mm -hmm. not getting that slick stuff. I'm not trying to figure out how to raise her skirt. You know, I'm trying to raise her thoughts. Have you ever bumped into any of your old prostitutes that you used to have out there? <laughs> All the time. Are you serious? I mean, you see them, you don't bump into them, but you see them out there, you know. You know, I mean, my thing is like, you know, the, the, the game is so cold, it's so real, right? You don't, you know, you 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 don't never put those people on the same plateau as you would put, say, your wife or, you know, your girlfriend, you know, because you know that deep down inside, like she know deep down inside, that's Pip and Ken. Deep uh -huh. down inside, I know that that's whole so-and-so, you know what I'm saying? I know she still had those whole tendencies. She know I still had those Pip tendencies. So we kind of do this to each other, you know? It's <laughs> like two vampires, you know, like, nigga, you stay away, I'm gonna stay away. I know who you is, nigga. I know what you came for, bitch. I know who you came for. Let's just stay the fuck away from each other. <laughs> you, 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 I know you married. I know you did your thing. I know I got my situation. I know we ain't no longer the game, but just stay away. You know, and I think, you know, that's healthy for both people. Because, you know, Yo, that's crazy. So you actually bump heads with these people and y'all just be like, yo. We go. We we know who we are. Like, keep living your life. I'm gonna keep living keep, mine. Keep it moving, man. Keep it moving. You understand? Know Cause you know, a lot of times, you know, 
the relationship in the game that you have with a prostitute is going to be way different than you have with your wife, you know, or with your girlfriend. It's a different relationship. So, you know, there's certain things that you want to keep the integrity to, you know, you want to keep the integrity of the game alive. Neither one of us don't never want to forget that we really was about that. You know, we lived that life. So it's like a, it's like a, a national chest treasure, some shit, you know, it's like a historical site. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, we, we live that life, you know what I'm saying? Me, we, and we're gonna leave that life back there, you know, and we're not gonna try to pursue anything else. But you know, yeah, this, go ahead. You know, the thing that, you know, I think that, that where change come from, people say, how did I do it? You know, well, you know, if I had a 10 pound, a 20 pound book pack on my back, right? And I carried around for 40 years, that book pack will be pimping, you know what I'm saying? That's dead weight, you know? So once you go into a situation where you take that book pack, that dead weight off you, then you feel like Muhammad Ali, you can float like a butterfly, staying like a bee. You know what I'm saying? You light now, you can move, you know, you can maneuver a little bit better, you know? Without that pimping book pack on me, that pimping stigma on me, I can deal with people a little bit more equitable, you know what I mean? A little bit more, you know, uh, professional, right? And then, you know, I think the biggest problem with people is that they don't want to let go. You know, and sometimes it's good to say goodbye because the word good is a goodbye. You know, I don't know if you know about the eagle, but the eagle is the most profound of all the human birds. The eagle wings is nine feet. When the eagle flies, soars through the air. You know what I'm saying? If the eagle see a pigeon, pigeon, because he flies so high, he know he's flying too low. That's how he know when he see a, a, another species or the bird species, he know he got to go up. When the eagle see a storm, he goes into the storm and shoot up the storm because the storm propels him to a higher aptitude, you know, chickens, you know, they, you know, they always pack in. The chicken eat their own feces, the chicken eat anything. That's why a chicken's so fat. A chicken can't fly like an eagle. That's why you never see an eagle and a chicken make a love. You know what I'm saying? I mean, eagle will see his prey, it can see his prey 100 miles away and his claws are so strong that he claws into the prey and he pulls the prey up. You can see eagles grabbing wolves and dogs and sheep and all kind of things and grab and pick it up and, and, and go with it. When the eagle see a weasel, he do the same thing. He call into the weasel, he pull the weasel to him and he fly, he ascend 10,000 feet and then he descend 10,000 feet to his death because he refused to let the weasel go because the weasel is the biggest mistake of the eagle because the weasel eats into his chest. Then eventually the weasel eats his heart up, and that's why he descends to his death. And you know, when we change in our life, when we're making the transition, we, you know, if you want to change your mentality, you got to change your reality. If you want to change your aptitude, you got to change your attitude. Sometimes we got to let the weasels out of our life, and then the transition become possible. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, Ken. This has been a, a, a dope conversation, man. Um, it really has been. You, you. I love your intellect. I love your insight. Um, don't agree with all of the things that you did in your life, but at least you provided us with an understanding. And it's so happy to see to Yo, see. And some people don't agree with everything you did either. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, and, and that's so 100% you know, true. Hey, we walking on fair ground. <laughs> <laughs> But I love the fact that you, man. everybody comes from somewhere, man. I know some niggas is so, so, so deadly. You know what I mean? You think I'm something. I know some people they cut your eyes out, send them to your mama. They cut your penis out, put it in your mouth. Rufus. You know, but nobody. I know, I know people it. just like that. I but know nobody people never just know like that, right? Nobody never know they like that, right? But when we live in the public, uh, I, you know, a lot of our activities on display. You know, so people form opinions before they meet us, you know, but once people meet you and they get a chance to hobnob with you, they realize that, you know, you can't inhale new air unless you exhale old air in with the new, out with the old, you know, so it's about reinventing yourself and becoming a new person. No, and I love, I love, you know, first and foremost, um, you really given the psychology and the understanding of, of what it's like 
to have lived in that life. I, I think it's going to be uh, uh, an awakening for so many people who get a chance to, to listen and um, watch this conversation, but also to show the evolution. Don't matter what you did, you know, we can all change. Malcolm was my idol. So I'm just doing what Malcolm did. Malcolm changed his life. I'm changing my life. There you go. There you go. But man, I appreciate your time, Ken. And I would love to have you back from time to time if, if you, you know, grace us with, with more of your time. So thank you so much. Continue blessings to you. Peace and love, brother. Peace and love, brother. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.